Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for this super quick dishcloth. Now I made mine using Christmas colors because the holidays are coming up, but you can make this dishcloth in any color you wish. You can make it in one color, two colors, three colors like I did, or make every round a different color. Just a really quick, fun, and easy crochet dishcloth. Now this dishcloth measures about nine and three quarters inches in diameter, so it's the perfect size to do dishes. So this is the front, and when you turn it over, this is the back. So it's pretty on both sides. It's very quick to make using basic stitches, and I can't wait to show you how to make this dishcloth. And you can make several of these in just one day. So if you're looking for some quick to make holiday gifts, this would be perfect. Make it in Christmas colors, or if you know the person you wanna make dishcloths for, color of their kitchen, make it to match their home decor. So let me tell you everything you're gonna to need to make this dishcloth today. So for my project today, I am using the Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton. This comes in a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, 186 yards, 170 meters. Now this is classified as a number four medium weight yarn. It's 100% mercerized cotton. It's machine wash and dryable. And I'm using the color red, color 113 red. So you're going to need one skein of red, one skein of color 100 white, and one skein of this beautiful grass green. This is color 172. Now you do not have to use the Christmas colors. You can choose colors to match your own home decor. You're also going to need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, Grab your hook and let's get our dishcloth started. To begin our project, I am starting with my red. I already have it attached to my hook and I used a double knot. You can use whichever method you desire to join your yarn to your hook. Now I wanna remind everyone all my crochet tutorials are filmed using USA crochet terms. We're going to begin and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to join our chain four with a slip stitch into the first chain. So you're going to skip three chains, insert into the fourth chain, and slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So we're going to be working our stitches inside this ring. And then what I do is I lay this string of yarn from beginning. I have it long enough that it goes around that chain. And then after I make my stitches, I can just pull on this string and tighten up the center. So let's begin. I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work a total of 15 double crochet inside the center of this ring. You're going to yarn over, insert right into the center ring, yarn over, pull back through, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. That is one of 15. Double crochet back into the center of the ring and make sure that you're going underneath this starting strand that's left over from joining. Work your double crochet. That is two of 15. Double crochet back into the center of the ring and again remember make sure that this extra strand of yarn is on top of your hook and then work your double crochet. That is three of 15. Double crochet back into the center of the ring. That is four of 15. Double crochet back into the center of the ring. That is five of 15. Continue and work 10 more double crochet into the center of the ring and I'll meet you at the end of round one. 
I'm over at the end of round one. You should have a beginning chain three and then 15 double crochet for a total of 16 stitches. So now we're going to join. We're going up to the top of that beginning chain three that was skipped. You're going to count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. So I'm just gonna fasten off. So when I fasten off, I like to leave a little bit longer length because I can always trim it. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. And it creates a secure knot. So now what I wanna do is, because I work my stitches over this strand of yarn, if you pull this strand of yarn, just pull on it. It's going to tighten up the center and close that circle so it's just a tiny hole. And then what you want to do is take a yarn needle and it's better if you weave as you go so you don't have a lot of ends when you're all done with your dishcloth. And then what I do is where I pulled my yarn through, it's coming out this way. So I'm going to skip one strand of yarn and I'm going to weave it back through in the opposite direction. And then once I weave that through, now my yarn is pretty short, so I'm going to skip one strand of yarn and I'm going to come back through a second time. And this just helps so your ends don't come loose because when you're using a dishcloth, you're really using it quite a bit. So you want your ends to be nice and secure. And then you just want to trim that end off. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my longer end. I'm going to weave it down through these stitches and then down here where it's pretty tight and thick to really help hold that. So weave in your end and then the next color we're going to be using is our white. So grab your white and let's begin round two. To begin round two, I'm going to join my yarn. I'm going right back into the top of that joining stitch. Insert right where you joined and then slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. And then I just take this, pull it to the back and then tighten up my yarn. We're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to work one more double crochet back into that same stitch. And then we're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, going under the top two loops, work two double crochet. One, and two. Work two double crochet into the next stitch. One, and two two double crochet into the next stitch, one, and two. So go ahead and continue and work two double crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. You should have a total of 32 stitches around and now we're ready to join. We're going to come up to the top of that beginning chain three, count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. So I am done with my white, so I'm just gonna fasten off my white. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So now we're going to switch to our grass green. So grab your green and let's begin round three. So for round three, I already have my green attached to my hook. I'm going back to my joining stitch, insert into the top of that joining stitch, and then slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. We're going to chain one. Now the beginning chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to single crochet back into that same stitch, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. Chain two, 
So when you look at your work, we started with a chain one, worked a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all in to that joining stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch and into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. Skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch going under the top two loops, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that around and you'll have one stitch remaining and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round three. We worked a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the joining stitch. You skipped a stitch, worked a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next stitch. You repeated that around and you have one stitch remaining. So now we're ready to join. We're going to go up to the top of that beginning single crochet, insert under the top two loops, and then slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So we are done with our green, so I'm going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So now we are going to switch back to your red. So grab your red and let's begin round four. To begin, I have my red attached to my hook and I'm going to go up to where I fastened off. I'm going to join into the first chain two space of that first little V stitch. Insert into the chain two space, slip stitch through that chain two space and through the loop on your hook. I'm just gonna pull my yarn to the back. Now I'm gonna wait till I'm all done to weave in my ends. We're going to begin with a chain three, one, two, and three. We're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two space. One, and two. So when you look at your work, you started with the beginning chain three and work two more double crochet all into that same chain two space. So now for this round, we're going to work three double crochet in the chain two space of each V stitch around. Yarn over, go to your next V stitch, insert into the chain two space and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Go to your next V stitch, yarn over, insert into the chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Go to your next V stitch, yarn over, insert into the chain two space, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So go ahead and continue and work three double crochet into the chain two space of each V stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four. You should have 16 groups of three double crochet or a total of 48 double crochet stitches around. So once you make your last set of three double crochet in that last little V stitch, we're going to come over and we're going to join in the top of the beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert into the top chain and slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So we are done with the red, so I'm just gonna fasten off my red. Chain two, pull your hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So now we are going to switch to our white. So grab your white and let's begin round five. 
Now we're ready to begin round five. I have my white attached to my hook and I'm going up to where we joined in our joining stitch and I'm going to slip stitch my yarn through the top of that joining stitch, insert your hook and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop of your hook. And then I just pull my ends back. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch going under the top two loops, work two double crochet. One. And two. Then we're going to start our repeat. You're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the next stitch. One and two. Let's do the repeat again. Work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the next stitch. One and two one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the next stitch one and two so go ahead and continue work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the next stitch you're going to repeat that around and i'll meet you at the end of round five I'm over at the end of round five. You should have a total of 72 crochet stitches around and we ended with two double crochet from that repeat. So now we're going to go up and we're going to join in the top of that beginning chain three, count up one, two, three, insert into the top chain, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Round five is finished. Now we're ready to begin round six. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to double crochet back into that same beginning joining stitch. We're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. and then one double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to begin the repeat. We're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch. One. And two. Double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of our repeat. Let's do it again. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One. And two. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. If you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. You should have a total of 96 double crochet around and now I'm ready to join. We're going to join in the top of the beginning chain three. So count up one, two, three, insert your hook into that top chain and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So we are done with the white. So I'm just going to fasten off. And again, I like to leave that longer length. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So now for round seven, we're going to switch back to our green. 
So grab your green and let's begin round seven. Now we're ready to begin round seven. I have my green attached to my hook and I'm going right up to where I fastened off. So I'm going to join right back into the joining stitch. So insert right in the top of that joining chain. Yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin and we're going to chain one. We're going to work a single crochet back into the top of that joining stitch. Chain two and then single crochet back into the top of that joining stitch. So again, we joined our yarn, we chained one, which does not count as a stitch. We worked a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all in to that joining stitch. Now we're going to start our repeat. You're going to skip the next two stitches, so make sure you're skipping this next stitch. Sometimes this first V stitch covers that up. So skip one, two stitches, and into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. Skip the next two stitches, into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. Let's do it again. Skip the next two stitches, into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next two stitches and into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round seven and you should have two stitches remaining. I'm over at the end of round seven. This is what our dishcloth looks like. When you get to the end of round seven, you should have two stitches remaining. So now we're going to join. We're going to go up to the top of that beginning single crochet, insert under the top two loops of that stitch, slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So we are done with our green. So I'm going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch and pull down. So round seven is finished. Now we have one more round to go and our dishcloth will be finished. So we're going to switch back to our red. So grab your red and let's begin round eight. To begin round eight, I already have my red attached to my hook and I'm going to go up where I fastened off and I'm going to join my red in the chain two space of that first V stitch. Insert into the chain two space, slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin and we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Our beginning chain six counts as the first double crochet and the chain three of our first picot stitch. You're going to bring your hook down and you're going to skip the first three chain from hook, insert into the next chain, slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Now you're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two space. One, and two. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. You're going to go to the next V stitch, yarn over, insert into that chain two space, work one double crochet. You're going to chain three. This chain three is for your Pico stitch. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert into the front loop of that stitch made and right into the loop below. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Work two more double crochet back into that chain two space. One. And two. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. You're going to go to your next V stitch, 
double crochet into the chain two space of that next v-stitch chain three bring your hook back to the front of your work insert from top to bottom through the front loop only of that last stitch worked insert right into the strand of yarn below you have three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook now you're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two space one and two and that is the end of the repeat let's do it one more time you're going to go to your next v-stitch work one double crochet into the chain two space of that v-stitch then chain three for your pico stitch bring your hook to the front of your work insert from top to bottom through the front loop right into the strand of yarn on the side below that strand you have three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook then you're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two space one and two and that is the end of the repeat so go ahead and continue if you need additional help just click back on the video you're going to work one double crochet a pico stitch and two double crochet into the chain two space of each V stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round eight I'm over at the end of round eight we just worked a double crochet a pico stitch and two double crochet in the chain two space of each V stitch around after you work your last group of stitches you're back over to your beginning set of stitches here so when we join we want to come up and we want to go right where the pico stitch stops at the top of that beginning chain three it's a little harder to see so just look at your work look for the space and where this horizontal bar comes across you want to insert right into that chain right below this horizontal strand of yarn insert into that chain yarn over pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook so we are done with our red so I'm going to fasten off the red I chain two pull my hook up yarn out grab pinch pull down and it creates a secure knot so I'm going to go ahead weave in my ends and I'll be back and I'll show you the finished dishcloth so our dishcloth is finished this is what the final dishcloth looks like this is the front and when you turn it over this is the back so a really super quick and easy dishcloth to make and remember you can put your own spin on this dishcloth and change the colors to suit your home decor you can use any color combinations you can make it a solid color make it in two colors make it in three colors or make each round a different color using up your scraps i just thought it would be pretty with the christmas colors because the holidays are coming up but just get creative and put your own spin on it if you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial please make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on creative grandma's channel so until next time stay inspired and happy crocheting bye everyone